All right, so basically I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to take some B-roll footage off of a, uh, a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and get a, a decent grade going. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit on our gear icon. We're gonna to go to color management. We are going to select the Rec 709 Gamma 2.4 and then we are going to select Tetrahedral under the 3D lookup table and click update list so that'll get us going there under camera raw I'm going to select Blackmagic raw I'm going to select project and I'm going to select gen 5 That'll get us going there. Save that. So I got my footage here. Just was outside and recorded some quick footage. So let's uh, let's try this right here. We got some sky in it. So I'm going to go to my color. Now there's several ways we can go about this. First, let's use. Um, the leaming LUT uh, method. Basically, uh, what this is is a uh, a LUT that has been designed to grade B-roll footage when you expose to the right on the uh, pocket cinema cameras. So we'll go over here. We'll select the leaming LUT Pro Three, and that's going to get our base grade going. If we want to go a little lighter, we can select the uh, the Athena, and that'll lighten up our footage a little bit. That's your choice there. Then the next thing we could do is we could put in, and this is the same package, um, a uh, like a look grade. So that's called the natural film look. So that right there gives you a good start to your footage now there'll be obviously things that you may want to go in and touch up but for the most part based on our shot that's going to give us a real good look just basically off of dropping in two uh, LUTs okay let's delete that reset that the next one I want to show you is the color space transform tool and what this does is basically allows us to input the information into the plugin that um, uh, will will be the, the the color space information that we shot in so first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the black magic wide gamut gen 4 5 then here under input gamma, we're going to select the Blackmagic Design Film Gen 5. Under input color space, we will select the Rec 709. And then under output gamma, we will select the gamma 2.4. Okay, so there's your before and after. So you'll see this is a little brighter now, but we're still good throughout. We could then go in, create another node, and we could start our, our grading there. Make it look how we want it to. So there's the color space transform. There's we're just a quick couple adjustments on our on our second node so again we got a real good grade going with two nodes all because we are using the b-raw uh, codec when we record our footage now this was all recorded to be uh, with a, a gimbal using the 
Zion Crane uh, gimbal with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K mounted directly to it with nothing more than a, um, a, a Rokinon cin cinema lens. So that's it. There was nothing else in, in, the, uh, in the rig, in the setup. Just camera mounted directly onto the, uh, the gimbal with our lens. So, all right, delete and reset. So again, so here's our stock footage again. Not our stock, but this is our raw footage. So, now another way you could go about this is you could just edit it naturally with your your curves and your uh, your color wheels. So, you could just start expanding it out. Like so. And again, because we have shot this footage in RAW, we have a very large dynamic range in um, that we can work with. Uh, I'm going to go over to my HDR for my saturation. It's before. I mean, that's very, very nice. So, again, two nodes. That's all I'm using here. Um, Now this was all shot in uh, the high frame rate, basically um, 60 frames per second shot on a 24 frames per second uh, timeline is how the uh, block, uh, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K works. So, so again, those are uh, just a couple ways uh, in the color tab of editing uh, some raw footage, uh, B-Raw actually, um, shot on the uh, Black Magic Pocket Cinema 4K camera. Um, again, the the technique that is used here is exposing to the right, where basically you get out to your your site, you find um, a uh, a shot that's probably going to be your highest amount of light. In this case, um, we were sort of looking like. Right here, it's sort of like where we started our grade at. Um, and w w while you're shooting or before you shoot, you you set your exposure to where uh, you have your uh, your zebras set on your monitor, so that um, basically your entire sky right here is all that you'll see the zebras active, and then you just roll your exposure uh, back, actually to the left now, until the zebras disappear. Just when they disappear, that's when you're ready to shoot because that means that in your brightest shot scene, you know that your highs are not going to be blown out. So um, that's the method that is used here to work specifically with the leaming LUT, and you can see that it works with many other, or I should say a couple other methods that you would want to use potentially um, if you don't have the leaming LUT. You could use the expose to the right technique and use the color space transform tool or just uh, just general nodes uh, using your, your, uh, your color wheels uh, or your curves. If you want to use curves, curves will accomplish the same thing. In fact, let's do that real quick. Let's reset this node, and then let's just use our our curves here to create our our look.
there you go. So again, there's many ways to go about achieving the the look you want while using the uh, the B raw codec. It is a, a, a very good codec uh, that I'm enjoying shooting with. Um, I've been using it just for a couple months now, so I'm still learning how to properly uh, shoot it. Um, I think that um, the exposed to the right technique that I just explained really uh, has helped me personally get consistently good footage uh, when you know what your conditions are going to be. So um, if you have any questions about what I've shown here today, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, leave them in the comment section below, or you can always email me at bbuck822 at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great time shooting footage, okay? Bye-bye now.